Okay, today I can practice parabola problems using x minus b squared over 4p equals y minus t. So this is basically just practice with what we did last class, but there is going to be something new towards the end. So let's just go over, um, let's just go over this problem. Then we'll go over some in the back. This video is going to be relatively short. It's mostly just time for you to practice. And it says, which equation represents the set of points equidistant from line L and point R? So what that's saying is that this is my directrix and this is my focus, and it's asking for the parabola. A parabola is all points equidistant from a point in a line. You need to know out of the directrix, focus, and vertex, the vertex is always in between the other two. So since it's one, two, three, four from focus to directrix, the vertex must be two from each, and that is two negative one. Now it's asking, and now also since it's opening down, it cannot touch the directrix. Um, it's going to have a negative p value. So now to write my equation, x minus b squared over 4p equals y minus t. b, t, p. b is 2, t is negative 1. p is the distance from the vertex to the focus. It's going down, so it's negative 2. Remember, minus in a formula means change the sign, so v and t are going to change signs. x minus 2 squared over 4 times negative 2 equals y plus 1. All I can do is the bottom left. I have to cross multiply or isolate y. Well, in these, exam in these choices, y is by itself, so I'm going to have to isolate y by subtracting 1. Notice also that they have the negative 1 eighth in front, and we mentioned that might need to get pulled out. So it's negative 1 eighth x minus 2 squared minus 1. Look very carefully here. It's not a plus 2. It's a minus 2. It's a minus 1. Choice 4. So it's the same thing we did last class, but now you're seeing where you're going to have to identify the different variations of it. You might have to cross multiply. In this case, we didn't. In this case, we had to isolate y because the answers had y isolated. For something like number 3, these are in cross multiplied form, so you'd have to cross multiply. One other thing I want to show you guys, a little strategy here pull my calculator up. Once I did my sketch, I could always type, go to y equals, type them in, and look at them. Negative alpha y equals enter, 1 eighth x plus 2 squared plus 1. Zoom 6 is a regular graph. Is that parabola in the same spot as the one that I have on my Grid, no, the one on my grid is in quadrant four. Uh, the vertex is, that's not it. So then I can go to choice two. That's x plus two squared minus one. Is that <clears throat> the graph that I have? No. So then I can go to choice three, x minus two squared plus one. No, that vertex is too high. So finally, choice four. I understand it might, because of the scale, it might not look exactly the same, but it's pretty easy to see which ones definitely aren't that, and that one looks the best. So, you know, it's a little strategy, but if Y is by itself, if Y is isolated, you can just pop them in. As long as you understand how to do the rough sketch, you should still be able to get this region's question correct. So I want to jump ahead to, I mean, all this stuff you can try on your own. 
this. So this is important. This is going backwards. So if I give you the equation, I want to pull the vertex out because to make the equation, I need the vertex. So if they give me the equation, I can pull the vertex out. So we know we're always changing the sign of what's with the x. Now, depending on where the other value is, will affect what the y is. So when y is by itself, we change the x, we don't change the y. When y is by itself in C, I change the x, I don't change the y. When y is not by itself, well, this is my x minus b squared, and this is y, y minus t. Essentially, this is y minus t, which means that I do need to change the sign. So if y is not isolated, I do have to change it. Because think of it this way, if I added 2 to both sides, it would become positive. So you're always changing the x, the y, if the y is by itself, then you're not changing the y. If the y needs to be gotten by itself, then you are. Again, because you're going to have to end up adding 2 to both sides. So if they give you the equation, you need to kind of pop it out and go from there. So let's just do a few more um, just to make sure we have this down. Again, if, the, if y is by itself, you're not you're you're always negating the x if y is by itself you're not negating the the value at the end if y if the number's with the y then you do have to negate it So I want you to try on your own right now. I want you to just pull the vertex out of each of these. I'll give you, I'm not going to pause it, I'll just give you about 15 seconds. I want you, given those equations, to tell me what the vertex would be. If y is by itself, negate the x, keep the y, keep the y value, the, the other value. If y is not by itself, we're still negating the x, but if I get y by itself, I would have to subtract that 7, so it would become negative. So the x is always changing. The y depends on where that value is. Uh, think of it, if, it's, if y is by itself, you're keeping that the same. So now we're going to use this within a bigger question. The equation of a parabola is it's telling me the focus and it wants the directrix. Well, based on this equation, I know that the vertex negate what's with the x, don't negate what's with the y, is negative 5, 1. So if my vertex is negative 5, 1 and my focus is negative 5, negative 3, I know that the vertex is always in between the other two, which means the directrix needs to be somewhere up top. So if it's 1, 2, 3, 4, I go another 1, 2, 3, 4. This is my directrix. Directrix is always y equals a number. In this case, it's y equals 5. So I have to pull the vertex from the equation. Once I have that, I'm just basically counting on the graph. Number eight. <clears throat> it's giving me a parabola. It's giving me the directrix as y equals negative one. And if it gives me the equation of the parabola, from there I can pull the vertex. So the vertex would be 2, comma, 2. It's asking for the focus. Well, the vertex needs to be between the other two. So the focus has to be up top. 
If it's one, two, three to get to the vertex, it's one, two, three more to get to the focus. That point is two, comma, five. So if they give you the equation, you have to, from there, pull the vertex out by negating the x value and not negating the y value. And that's it. There's a couple more to practice on that. Um, it's just going to take some practice. Again, if it's multiple choice and y is by itself, you could always type it in and kind of match it up once you have your sketch. To write the equation of parabola, x minus v squared over 4p equals y minus t. Make sure the vertex is always in between the other two. And if they give you the equation, you're going to have to, again, pull the vertex from there by negating the x value and not negating the y.